Liberty University's president is speaking out tonight after LU leaders announced this afternoon they have verbally committed to a third-party investigation into these sexual assault and Title IX violations at the university. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman is live outside of campus tonight. And Tim, you were at a rally earlier that Jerry Prevo attended. That's right, Brittany and John. It was a prayer service near campus where students, alumni, and other advocates voiced their concerns, calling on the university to conduct a third party investigation. And that came shortly after university officials verbally committed to a change. Standing alongside those calling for transparency Thursday was Liberty University President Jerry Prevo, saying he wants to listen to concerns. We're going to do our best to find out what has happened. We're going to do our best to correct it. And we're going to do our best to keep it from ever happening again. This rally came two hours after a news conference with advocates, including attorney Rachel Denhollander, internationally known for accusing U.S. gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser of abuse. Denhollander says she met with Prevo for 90 minutes Thursday, calling the meeting productive. What is taking place today is not the fruition of a personal vendetta. It is not an attempt at dismantling this institution, but rather is coming with the hope that this institution will stay true to its core values. She said the door remains open for change. A different choice can be made right now in this moment. Moments later, there appeared to be a different choice. The group says they received a phone call from campus minister Jonathan Falwell during the news conference, saying LU's executive committee approved an independent audit Thursday and will present to the board of trustees Friday. A representative for the student-led organization Justice for James says the audit needs to happen now. Granted, anything is up for change. I don't know what the board will say. I don't know what the executive committee will do tomorrow. But as of today, it is a step in the right direction. Prevo vows to take that step Friday. Well, it will be put into motion. It will be. Yeah. And says he's committed to justice. There will be a, a release of that investigation. I asked Dr. Prevo when he expects that investigation to begin and how long he thinks it will take. He said he doesn't have a date in mind right now, but the sooner the better. Den Hollander tells us that this will be a process and it will take time for this to be done properly. John and Brittany. Well, Tim, we understand that students plan on holding the university accountable again tomorrow. That's right. We're told that one group of students plans on rallying around 1130 tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, the Justice for James group tells us that they're going to get together around one o'clock. They're going to be outside of where the bus board of trustees plan to meet. When we have more information on what happens tomorrow, we'll bring it to you on air and online at WSLS.com.